Alright guys, welcome back to part 9 of making this uh, assault rifle. So I had a thought about how I'm going to kind of approach this part. So it should be easy enough actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to grab a line and cut here. Right click to confirm that. Shift D to duplicate it and move it down and cut that part as well. Then I'm going to select this press C, select these two, right click to confirm that, and now I can delete these two pieces. So the way I'm going to kind of sort this out, is I'm going to go to my top view, and I'm going to go into my line tool, I'm going to click to create line from here to here right click then I'm going to create another line from here to there right click then I can close this up so that did not close let me select all these curves press J there we go. So let's close that up. Actually, so I'm actually going to delete that. What I'll do instead is cut out a little square square shape here, and then kind of try and merge those together. Now I'll go into my top view and. Actually, I'll grab this this specific face, and press. No, actually, I'll I'll create the. Yeah, I'll go into my front view here. Right click to cancel that. Uh, I'm just going to click on my line tool. I'm going to draw from here to here. Right click, and then here to here to here here. So I'll create this face that's almost the exact same size besides the arch. I'm going to press G and I'm just going to move it into... Well, let me just select, make sure those two are... press J to join them. G and yeah, so G and I can move it into place. So it'll be around here and then if I press or if I go into edge mode select these four edges and then select these press L I might have to do each individual one. Oh no that's actually one solid I'll actually grab this press shift D to duplicate it and then I'll grab this sheet go into edge mode Actually, grab that and then grab that and then press L. L. That's not working. Can I loft between these two faces? Nope. That's okay. So I'll create and and let me just I'll grab the sheet and I'll move it a tiny bit forward. Go to my line tool, I'm going to select this point to this point, right click, then this point to this point, like right click, and this point to this point, and right click, and then this point here to this point, and right click, and I can select these two edges here and press L and that should loft fine yeah and then these two and press L and I'm actually going to delete this face I would delete that sheet or these curves sorry yeah that'll, that'll do then I'll create a new curve that goes from the here to here. 
And now I should be able to hopefully select this and select this and press L. Nope. Hmm. This and this and then press L. L's G0, G0. And then is there a way of selecting? Let's see if I shift D to duplicate that. And then I'm going to face delete that face. Yeah, I think that should work. So I'll go grab this and shift D to duplicate it. Then delete this face. And then I should be able to select these two curves and press L. Yeah, that works. And then lastly, here at the bottom, I can do line from here to here and select these two and press L. And then I can select this one and this one and press L. Cool. And that creates a solid. Or, no, they're all sheets. So if I select all of them, press J, it makes one sheet and it's because it's open on that side so we'll actually locate this piece here so if i click on it i'm going to hide it and i should be able to just loft these together and press j i grab these delete these curves because now this is a solid piece and i can grab J, yeah, now it's a solid. And then I can unhide that. So cool. Um, I can grab this face and I'm just going to extrude it out. Uh, extrude, sorry. And it should be the exact same dimensions. I'm going to overlap it a little bit and then I can just boolean those together. Nice, we worked it out. <laughs> now I'm going to grab this piece. I'm going to press Alt X to go into mirror mode. And I'm going to mirror onto the other side, and then I'm going to have to move it up. So I'll go into the front view and press J A G, and just move it up. I don't know how precise it has to be for the boolean to kind of treat it as one and not actually create the edge. So probably pretty. there's a way of putting a pivot onto a vertice and then snapping that would be perfect but I don't know if we can do that inside of plasticity G. let me just move that up there we go there's a tiny bit of a gap but that'll be fine alright so grab this grab this and grab this and Q, Q. right click I made a mess there. For some reason it's off center here. Um QQ. And let's see if I grab these. No. No worries. So what I'll do, I'll just control G until I'm no longer Let me just check if this one billions correctly. Which it does for the most part, left an edge there, but that's not that big of a problem. Uh could I trim that actually? Uh No. Alright, let me see. I can't just do that, right? So I'll do that at the end. 
and maybe that will work with this piece as well. So I'm actually going to boolean it together and then I'll see if that works. So if I grab this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and just start lofting it. Sorry, not lofting, uh, giving it fillet. So that kind of worked. Left a bit of a strange edge here. I don't know how, what that's going to do when I export as an OBJ, if it'll be alright. Maybe you'll be fine. But yeah, that's that piece done. Alright, so next I can make this little piece. Which will be really simple. So I'll just go into my side view and I'll grab my um, just grab center circle for here. Click here, drag something like that. All right, click, grab that face, pull it out like that. Grab this edge, give it a bevel like that. Then I need to create that specific shape. So to do that, I'll actually go into my top view. I'll grab a center circle here and I'll just draw the circle out like so. And then grab an edge and I want to put a curve here that goes straight like so and then on the other side it goes straight down and then I can close it off like that cool so now if I offset this something like that I can then grab this face, I'm going to press shift D to duplicate it and I'm just going to move it down, so G, move it down, I'm going to use that for the um, little pipe here, and I can go back into my top view and just use my trim tool, and I should just be able to trim out that, and I think, oh, that did not work, Let's see should be able to just or grab these parts actually and just pull them out cool that's that done and I can bring that up slot it roughly here I'm going to face mode select right click select this and just push it in And I can delete those curves. So, delete. So, for the cancel, I'm just going to grab this this edge and move it up. like so and I'm going to create a array a linear array so because it's going to be very similar to this just at a different angle I'm actually going to grab these edges and press shift D to create this face and then I can press R and rotate it by 90 and then press G move it roughly here and then G again move it out and I can grab this face press uh, actually these curves this curve I'm gonna delete this one grab this oh, grab this curve press s scale it down just a tiny bit then I can press F and type in array curve array select this curve which will do this, and I can increase the numbers here like that. 
and then I can just press L to loft between those and then I can delete all of these curves. That created that shape pretty easily. It does look a little bit strange. Oh, it's because it's a sheet. So if I press J, oh, it's because it's not lofted in the center. So I'll select this and un unhide it. Then select this and go to edge mode. Select these T, these three edges, and these three, and press L. G0, G0. Now I may have to do each individual one. L, L, and then on the other side, L. Then this, and these, that's J. And J. Alright, so I'm not sure why that's still. Oh. There we go. It's not sol solid. And then I can unhide that part. Cool. So that works pretty well. I'm also going to select these edges and give them a bevel. Or maybe fill it like that actually and then this give it a small fill it as well this and these as well if there was a select similar that would be pretty cool So yeah, I have uh, mostly just little bits of detailing to do, and then clean up, and we should be finished. I'm going to bring it into um, Maya after and UV unwrap it, and then texture it into in substance, and hopefully get a pretty good render. See if I grab these. So that's all on that side. I'm now I'm going to mirror it over, so I might just just do this side. So I have to have a fig if I want to fill it. Yeah, small fill it like that. Cool. Alright, so what's next? So I have this piece is kind of finished, this piece is kind of finished, although it's looking a bit bare at the back. I don't have any reference of it besides here. There's a little hole in that, so I can actually just grab these to press O. Offset it like so. actually done a bit of a weird thing it's where it's not a perfect circle but call it a feature looks like it matches that side <laughs> and I can grab these two and just give it Something like that. You can also grab this, 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 and uh, this. Actually, like that, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go to the front, grab these, and just give. something like that mm, 
And that's looking pretty decent. Cool. So we are missing um, this little piece, and we need to fix this this area, which is not looking good. So I'm just going to grab this face, and I'm going to pull that up. It's all about there. I'm also going to grab these faces. And that's actually pulling it out, so I don't want to grab that one. I just want to grab these two, maybe. Yeah, pull that up. And then just cut that even more. The angle of that isn't perfect, but it'll have to do. You can also grab these two and just do something like that. It does have like a kind of area here. It's not going to be perfect, but it will be alright, I guess. Still look interesting. Just gonna give it like something like that. Cool, that piece is looking a bit better. So there's this cutout here, which we'll put in in a second. Um, there's also a cutout at the top of this. I think this whole thing could come out more. Like, if I pull these two out more, and it's going to do some weird stuff at the top. Maybe not. Maybe it will be okay. That side's fine. Alright, let's start making this little piece. So, I'm going to go front view. I'm going to grab my rectangle, rectangle, corner rectangle. Click here, drag all the way. It's meant to go all the way to here, but I don't know if I want that. Again, it's not going to be a perfect re uh, replica, it's just kind of a practice. Maybe something like that will do. And then maybe move it back to match that line. And then That's there. Yeah, I'll be fine. Cool. So what I can do as well, because we have this little dip and we have a little dip on the other side, is I'll just go in with my three-point arch. Click here, click here, and draw that little kind of space there. Press Shift D and just move that over to the other side. So there, and then I can trim this edge. This edge. My click, select the face, and just pull that out like so. I'm going to select these two edges here, so this edge and that edge, and give them a fillet like so. I'm going to select all of these curves, delete them, select this piece, move it in until it intersects. And then I'm going to cut that in. Again, this is going to probably one of those things that isn't meant to be mirrored. It's only meant to be on one side. So I'm going to have to think about that when I'm cutting it and mirroring it over. This specific piece I mean 
these are separate, so I might mirror those when I finish it, but then the body itself probably doesn't need to be cut and mirrored. Is there something didn't decide I didn't do on the other? Maybe I'll cut it and mirror it now actually just to be safe. So I'll go from the top here and I'll grab my edge line, sorry, draw straight down. Press 4, right click to confirm that. So we did cut those holes in. So, yeah, select this, press C, select that, cut, delete this side, select this side, press Alt X, and mirror it over. And then select these two, Q, Q right click and that's good so now that that specific piece has been mirrored over I can cut this out and grab this face and push it in a little bit more like so Then I'm not going to put too much thought into. I like, suppose this is this would be like a rectangle that slots into like a little gap inside of there that you can like pull, push it left and right with a little spring. I'm not going to bother too much with that. What I'll do is I'll just draw a circle here that's slightly bigger than the overall. Maybe slightly bigger. And I can offset that so. Like so. And I'll go to my front view here. And. Or maybe I'll go to. This view. And draw a uh, line that goes like something like this. Into this. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to scale it down a bit. Then I can press G, move it over to here. move that in try and get it centered with that circle so it will be roughly here grab this right click to confirm that grab the circle and actually scale that down a little bit oh, s or actually grab this s scale it down quite a bit Right click, confirm that. I'm going to grab that face, press Shift D, move it out a tiny bit. Then I'll press F, oh, F, array, curve array, select this curve, do something like that. Maybe slightly less. Something like that. And then I'll press Loft between them. Loft. So, loft, 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 then I can select these press loft there we go do click that and select close patch holes you can get rid of all of these sheets except for the first one which is not there all right yeah sorry the sheets i can get rid of 
Oh, no, not sheets. The curves, except for the first curve, which is this one. This one is that middle one. I'm going to get rid of that. That one I'm going to keep. And then all of the other ones I'm going to get rid of. So I don't like this result here. And I don't know if I'll be able to delete, fix that. So let's see if I do something like this. I grab this piece and this piece. Press L. It's going to curve it. Let me see what happens. I'll make it straight and then I'll fill it, it see if it looks alright. all of these sheets, press J to join them into one sheet. Now if I select these, can I... That's not doing a good job, is it? Hmm. Maybe the curve wasn't the best idea. I'll grab this and shift T for thickness. No. Maybe that will be okay. Quits an interesting bend, but like might be alright. We'll leave it like that. I'll grab this and I'll just pull that out until it's flush with this. Then I'll grab all these sheets, press, press J. Get rid of that curve. Select these two, press Q, Q. Right click. that I didn't actually mirror them. That's fine, let's I'll work on this specific piece first. I'm gonna pull that out. I think that detail I'm gonna do on a, as a texture. But I can do here as I can offset this top one. Select that, push that in. Go into edge mode, select these edges, give them, so I'll fill it like that. I'm in the bottom here as well. We're missing that single edge there, then give those. Small fillet. And then finally this one as well. Give it like a... Something like that. I won't... Boolean that together because there's no point. And I think that's looking pretty decent. Uh, what I might do is just... Find a good angle here in Gerard to select all of those faces and... Or actually... No. No. Maybe it'll be alright. Wasn't quite as long as I'd want it to be, but now that I've put in the fillets, it's not as easy to actually change that. No, I'm actually going to change it because it's not long enough. So I think I'm pretty sure I can remove fillets just by selecting them here and then just uh, pulling them out so and then selecting this piece pulling that out until it all 
Actually, I don't. I just select this piece on that piece, and then I can pull them both out. Let me just see what that looks like. Something like that. Suppose the you meant to grab that, aren't you? So something like that. You get a tiny bit smaller. There we go. And now I can get put in the fillet. Just need to make sure that we got a good size. There we go. That's looking good. Alright, so next, some detailing. I'm going to put this cut out here. I think the bolts and all that, I'll just do them separately in Maya and just kind of slot them in place. So I think probably be a bit easier. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click. Um, I'll do right back in the center here. Click with my center circle selected. Drag out something like that. G, move it out a tiny bit. Go into face mode. Select it. Pull that out. Maybe a bit more. Right click. Delete that curve. Select this G, move it in tool here. Right click, select this, select this, and then press Q. Right click. So I'm actually going to select this piece and move it out a little bit more till about halfway. This, then this Q, right click. Nice. You can select these. Something like that. This one. This one. And this one. Try doing these. That's good, and then these I can also something here all the outline edges here Very small one actually. Looks good. So there is some more detailing here. So uh, I can go with my center circle, and then that isn't this piece. There is like a cutout here, so I might do that. So I'm gonna grab my line tool, gonna cut from here straight down. Right click and cut from here straight down. Right click, then grab a m this model, press C, select these two, right click, then I can delete those two curves, delete that middle piece, which will leave me that little gap, or actually, instead of deleting it. What I'll do is I'll just select the outside faces and push them in, maybe. Next. 
so. Maybe not so much. That's good. Go in to this side, click center circle, put it here. Right click, grab it, extrude it out a little bit. Right click, delete that edge. Select it, G, move it in a little bit. Right click, select this, C, oh, yeah, that C, not C, Q. Right click, and then grab these two and give them a fillet. Actually, just grab the other one, like so. I think there's too many circles going on. Although there was quite a lot in this, but then these details I don't like actually. So I might just try and grab all of these. Just can I not uh, delete those? That's fine. Alright, so what else is left? Yeah, so I just have a few more details to put in. I have a um, couple more things, but for the most part it's mostly finished. So I'm going to think I'm going to leave it here for like the last video, and then I'll finish it up in Substance Painter. But, and, uh, yeah. But it's been a good practice of plasticity, been enjoying it, and uh, yeah, I'll probably make some more videos on other models and so on in the future, but yeah, thanks guys.